Hi, welcome to Epidemiological Analysis Using SAS. I'm Ryan Demmer, an assistant professor in the Department of Epidemiology at Columbia University, and I'll be teaching the course. There are three primary objectives I hope to obtain uh, throughout the duration of the course. First, I want to introduce you to uh, the basic SAS operating environment so you're comfortable with uh, SAS on a PC effectively. Then uh, we'll spend a great deal of time uh, talking a lot about operationalizing data uh, using SAS, in other words, to read in um, some raw data sets that you get and then manipulating them so that you can take uh, data, for example, from uh, 20 item smoking questionnaire and operationalize that into a meaningful variable uh, ready for analysis. For example, maybe you want to, to categorize people as being a, a never a former or current smoker. We'll talk a lot about those types of uh, procedures and data manipulation steps. And then finally, uh, we'll spend uh, some amount of time towards the end of the course discussing basic analytical techniques in the context of the SAS working environment. So the overall goal is to give you a good base knowledge in how SAS works um, from the standpoint of data uh, manipulation and operationalization and also basic analytical techniques. And once you have that working knowledge, it's not terribly difficult to uh, build on those skills and use more advanced analytical techniques uh, in the future. Um, so we're sort of giving you the basic uh, grammar and sentence structure uh, so to speak, for this particular programming language and, and analytical software. And from there, you can pretty easily uh, build it to, to uh, fit your particular research needs. The course is organized into five modules uh, to accomplish those aforementioned objectives. And within each module, uh, there will be a series of pre-recorded lectures. Each lecture is comprised of a uh, both PowerPoint lectures, well, where I'll introduce some um, conceptual ideas uh, in a PowerPoint type format, and then at the same time I'll transition over into live SAS demonstrations. So I might talk a little bit, for example, about um, uh, linear regression uh, conceptually for a few minutes, and then we'll go into SAS, and I'll actually show how you might code a linear regression uh, in SAS what the output looks like and some brief points about interpretation of, of the output. But most of it will be focused really on how to accomplish these goals in, in the SAS environment, of course. Uh, supporting each of those lectures, uh, for, for almost all lectures, there will be a SAS editor file that you can download locally to your own computer. You'd be able to open that and follow along. Uh, and the intention is that you'll actually run some of these analyses just as I am doing on the screen. So as you see me do something in SAS, you could pause uh, the lecture and then uh, try and actually run that on your own local computer and, and hopefully have success with that. So you're actually doing uh, while you're watching uh, and learning. Uh, so to support that, you have the editor files, and I've also provided you with all of the data sets that I'll use in the actual lectures. Um, so you can literally replicate uh, everything that I'm doing on screen. And in addition to the data sets in the SAS editor files, I also provide PowerPoint versions of the slides uh, so that you have those for, for future reference. The recorded lecture component of this course uh, will only last uh, for the duration of the course. Uh, but if you download the PowerPoints um, and the SAS editor files and the data sets and the course exercises, those are yours to keep uh, indefinitely and use as reference material if you choose. And then finally, to help support uh, the learning in this course, uh, I've created some basic exercises uh, based on real data sets uh, just to give you an opportunity to work through some problems uh, using SAS. Uh, the exercise document is posted course website, uh, and in that you have uh, both the exercises with and without uh, an answer key. Um, so you can try and work through it without the answer key, and then you can obviously uh, go to the key and, and check your work against uh, what I had suggested as the possible uh, approach to handling those problems. I recommend that you try and follow the uh, timeline for the course laid out in the, in the syllabus just to make sure that you don't run short on time towards the end of the semester. 
Uh, we unfortunately don't have flexibility to extend the duration of the course, so it's best that you are sure to get all the material uh, within the one month time frame. Uh, and then as a reminder, be sure to download all of the freely available material, the slides, the SAS editor files, the data sets, and the exercises, so you can keep them indefinitely. As questions arise throughout uh, the duration of the course, please feel free to contact me via email or telephone. Email is usually a bit more uh, efficient, but whatever works best for you is fine uh, for me, and I'll do my best to respond to you uh, within about 24 hours, if not sooner. Um, other than that, uh, I hope you have a really great experience in this course. Thank you very much for participating uh, in EPIC, and good luck.